So this example I'm going to show you uh, how to draw the Born Haber cycle for silver chloride. So using the information that we've been given it wants us to calculate the lattice enthalpy of formation for silver chloride. So um, we'll have our enthalpy profile, we'll draw the reactants and the products. The product is going to be silver chloride which is a solid the reactants uh, we can always go from the elements so silver is a solid and chlorine is a gas and we only need half a mole of chlorine okay so we know we can make silver chloride from its elements so we can certainly uh, do this and that's known as the enthalpy of formation so uh, normally given HF um, and it's in its standard state. Okay when we do these Born Harbour cycles I like to just treat one of the substances on its own and take it to its uh, to its final point and because this is a a metal and a non-metal I usually go with the metals first it is personal preference and it's it's up to you how you do it but just have a system um, and I always put my arrow above the transformation that I'm going to do so I'm going to look at silver uh, what am I going to do in order to eventually get this silver chloride here which is an ionic compound well first of all I need to turn the silver into a atoms I need to atomize it so um, I'm going to turn it from silver solid into a silver gas so I'm going to atomize it or vaporize it and then what I need to do is I need to take the electron off so uh, the silver so uh, first ionization energy so I'm going to take off the uh, electron and make a silver iron and it's in its gaseous state and there's the electron okay now I have to also keep the other substance that are on the same line as the transformations that I make. So this chlorine, whilst it's not taken any part in this convention, states that I keep this on the same line. So I draw it in afterwards because then um, I'm not going to confuse myself with what I'm going to do. Okay. Now silver is completely done with so I'm now going to look at chlorine. I'm going to make some changes to chlorine. So chlorine is in its gaseous form, it's a molecule and I need to split the bonds between those molecules. So I need to break those bonds as so I need to atomize the chlorine. So chlorine to a gas. Okay and then the next thing I'm going to do with chlorine it's going to pick up the electron. Uh, so actually what I'm going to do here I'm going to put silver gas and the electron there. So now the chlorine can pick up that electron, uh, the chlorine atom can pick up the electron. So what I'm going to make here is a chloride iron and it's a gas. Uh, and the silver iron is with it. Okay. Uh, those ions in their gaseous state can come together and they will make this uh, silver solid. So here I've got enthalpy of formation, here I've got enthalpy of atomization for silver, first ionization energy for sulfur, uh, silver, atomization of chlorine, first electron affinity of chlorine, and then the lattice enthalpy of formation of silver chloride, okay? Now I can use the table that uh, the exam board give me and I can work out the uh, lattice enthalpy. So here, um, let's see, let's go with this first. So silver, atomization of silver is plus 289. First ionization energy of sulfur is plus 732 plus. The uh, atomization of chlorine is plus 121, plus 121. The electron affinity for chlorine is minus 364. And here we've got the lattice enthalpy. Okay. Um, 
right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the principles that you've learned in Hess's law and I'm going to use conservation of energy, the first law of thermodynamics. And what I'm going to uh, say is that it doesn't matter the journey that I take, uh, the route that I take, um, the energy will be conserved. So if I start um, at this point here, I, if I follow the arrows around, I can get all the way around here and down to here, and it's the same as going from here to here. Okay, so the journey from here to here is the same as uh, will give me the same answer as going from here to here. So what we can say with that? Oh, I haven't put a value in for that. Uh, the enthalpy of formation of silver is minus. One, two, seven. Okay, so what we can say is that the enthalpy of formation going from here to here, minus one, two, seven, is equal to going from this start point here all the way around. So we can follow those arrows all the way around. So that's equal to plus two eight nine plus seven three two plus one two one minus three six four plus lattice enthalpy of formation. Okay, so I can rearrange this equation. I'm going to simplify it first. Okay, so I've just simplified that equation. Uh, minus 127 is equal to, so I've looked at all of those, that is uh, plus 778 plus uh, lattice enthalpy of formation. So again, if I rearrange that equation, 127 take away 778 equals lattice enthalpy of formation. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. So 127. Where's the minus button? There. No, it's not. Oh, we've dropped at the first hurdle. Um, okay. 1, 2, 7, plus 7, 7, 8. Uh, so that total is minus... Oh, I better just check it. 1, 2, 7, plus 7, 7, 8 is... 905 minus 905 is the lattice enthalpy of formation okay so uh, we know it's the formation because we're going from gaseous at a, uh, gaseous ions to solid but what would it be if this was the other way around so what if i wanted the lattice enthalpy of dissociation how would that affect this equation here and how would that affect that number? Okay, I will give you time to think about that and if you can write that in the chat, that would be fantastic.